Welcome to Clarence Park tonight for this quarter-final in the Hearts Senior Cup between St Albans City and Hertfordshire's, one of Hertfordshire's strongest teams, Stevenage FSV. Let's see what happens here. What will Stevenage do with this one? It looks definitely looks like it's going to be Theo Alexander who's going to... No, it's straight at the goalie. So that was Tanel Salek. It's not got to the stage where it's uh, cheering every pass, but here we go. It's a, Number 19 has got the ball. That's the Torbs attacking down the left-hand side. Ball's come across. Stevenage get in front of it. No, it's a strong play by <laughs> Roni Akinola, who I haven't seen for a while, and he put a strong shot in, and it's just gone by. So Didn't get past the first man, so we need a really good delivery on this. It's going to be an in-swinging corner. In he goes. Yeah. Oh, oh, fantastic goal. What a that, delivery. Mitchell Weiss. Let like a salmon, as they say, puts the ball straight past the goalie. 1-0 to St Albans. As I was saying, Chris, that was all about the delivery. The in the corner. All you had to do was just flick it into the far corner. It's a fantastic delivery. A great goal for St Albans City. And Stephen is end. He's looking for some movement. He gets the ball back. It goes to... Bola Lawal. Mitchell Vice does a little one two. There's four in the box now. Who's it going to come to? Will it get to Mitchell Vice? He's looking for the bounce. He puts it back and St. Dorbus just scores. Oh. Oh, from our position here, I thought that had gone straight in. That's all right. A really good play again by St. Dorbus. Really, really strong. Tripp sees him, passes it through to Murat, to Akinola. Akinola to Tripp. Tripp goes into the box. Oh, and he's. Oh, well, I tell you what, Tripp could have gone then. He could have. There was a, a foot on him, he stayed balanced, but if he'd gone down then, I think that could have been a penalty. Takanella for another cross. He dummies defender. Morales on the ball, he puts it across to... So, and who's given it? Who hit that one there? That was Partington had stepped up. And to Barry, Barry trip and Mensa are playing some lovely triangles here as they tack Mensa tacks the goal he's into the into the area tackle comes across and another goal it's through to St Albans score again this time Olulawal great little ball ball but that was a great move by Mensa trip to Mensa down the right hand side he might drive through and Lowell gets on the end and puts it past the goalie's leg through the goalie's legs is that danger man again Mensa Jack James Looks to another through ball. Mitchell Weiss is playing as a great point man. As he does a really good job out there at front. Ball's on the tap with the left-hand side. Lowell, he puts it through to George Morrell, who looks for Mitchell Weiss. And Akinola puts oh. one top right-hand <laughs> corner. What a cracking shot. He didn't leave anything, but he put his, the full boot through through that one. And I've got to say, what a look, look at the crowd there. There's a really... I say it's a lovely bundle going on in the crowd there. There's even a lad with, with crutches jumping up and down. So uh, they're enjoying themselves. And every time the attack breaks down, it's an always look a threat. And the ball's now been given away and it's been played through to Akinola. Good. Covering the tackle there by the Stevens defender. So now St. Albans have a corner. They put it back to Jack James, who looks to spread it with that right foot of his. And Mitchell Vice is up oh. there, puts a header in. A lovely header. Fantastic. That was a great header to <laughs> score 4 0. Again, it's the quality of the cross from James, absolutely on the money. And all I just had to do was just place that ball into the net. Absolutely fantastic, fantastic cross. Anyway, St. Albans at the moment, 4 0 up. Blackman misses the ball, loses out. Stevenage on the attack now. Driving through, looking for the option. Harrison Smith puts an option in. Great block by Bowery. So. Credit to Stevenage, the heads haven't dropped. No. And, uh, they continue to play. Ooh, Ooh, good ball, good play. Ball came down the right hand side there, high ball. Out came uh, Sam Bentley in goal, who took out and puts it straight down the middle by Stevenage. Good goal. Good. He put Sam, sent Sam Bentley the wrong way. 
So that is 4 1. Looking for options. And that option was the new Callum Tripp, who plays the ball up front to Menzo, who's now sees Vice in the middle. And it's going to be a goal. He's come off the post, as it is. It's all going in the middle, and it's finally put in. It was a, that's a goal to St. Albans. Sorry, the, the confusion there. The ball was bouncing around, but it looks like it was Akinola who finally gets his foot on the end, puts his laces through from about 10 yards out, and St. Albans take a 5-1 lead. Again, this all started from Tripp, playing the ball through to Mensa again, looking so dangerous. So we haven't quite seen who the, who came off in that first half for Stevenish, but it's been replaced by Frank Norris. Anyway, St. Albans now forcing the action down the right-hand side. And little ball by Vice. It's come to Mensa. He puts the ball across and it's... Morales goes for a header and he just slow, just tips it over the top of the bar. Not sure who's on the ball at the moment. Is that Dan Bowery about to take that court? No, he's not. He's come in. There's a canola. Oh, and that ball came across. Blackman tried to uh, get on the end of it. Jenich is uh, Frank. It's Frank Norris. Is that Frank man Norris. again? Yeah, and he's looking for it. He's asking for more. He's come back to Morale. Morale puts a, tries across. It gets intercepted. He chips up across. And an overhead kick. And what? It was an overhead from, from Mensa there. Akinola now with the ball. Morale's going to be fed through. No, Akinola decides to go, and go alone. He's looking for an option to shoot. Berger now on the ball. He sees Mensa. He puts a lovely through ball. He's right 10 yards from goal. The ball comes across. Great save by the goalie. But now Stephen is well it out of defence. Yeah, they've been very patient at the moment. Bowery now plays it back to Partington. So again, looks for options, switches it to James on the left-hand side, who now plays down the line to Morrell. It's Morrell now, drives into the, to the edge of the box. He's going to shoot. Good shot straight at Mitchell. Lovely, went past two, three players, looking for an option, looking for the, that right position we can get in right foot, right behind, he did, but he went straight to the goalie's arms. Ball's come through, great ball through to Smith, who's free, he's only got, he's got two defenders to beat, he's looking for options, oh, he takes a shot the right-hand side, a lovely save by Bryant, who gets his body across, singing their songs, anyway, the play here. Berger to plays the ball across to Akinola. He sees Lowell free on the left-hand side. He drives forward into the box. Steam is trying to get a defence in. And Mensa tried to get in front of the goalie, but just missed out. And the ball goes out for a, for a goal kick. And there goes the final whistle. 5-2 to St Albans.